Happy Tuesday, my lights. How are my, how is my spiritual family out there? I like to check the temperature on what's going on with my spiritual family. I hope everybody's doing okay. Guys, you know, I am getting some messages from those who are doing some suffering right now. Um, not doing good. Things are going wrong. Things are going badly. Um, we're all kind of going through this, this... <laughs> I don't know what to call it, okay? We're all going through a lot together right now. Um, but if you're finding that, you know, it's one negative thing after another, I'm going to talk to you about it a little bit after the reading this way. If, if those that aren't interested or don't feel that they, they um, you know, want to stick around, they can just uh, hop off, okay? But if this is something you're interested in, um, how to turn your ship around there, I feel that I can help you. So at the end of this video, let's get moving and see what spirit has. Don't forget, guys, anyone interested in a um, $20 reading, I'm still offering that for a limited time. You can um, just click on the, on the description below the video. All right, guys, here it is. We're at, we're at your cycle. It's time to start enjoying these things from your cycle. Things are ready to turn around. Um, you're going to start seeing things differently like the world is at your feet, which is right next to your cycle. Look at that. All right. This is awesome, guys. Awesome sauce. All right. I'm seeing communication coming in to this empress. This is something unexpected. This is something um, you're not even thinking about. It's going to be a complete surprise. All right. What this information is going to entail, well, it's about this. It's about the world at your feet and some kind of great opportunity coming in for you. And this all is connected to your cycle. All right. Those of you who are new on the channel, this cycle, we've all, we're all going to receive this individualized cycle. All right. And it's, it's connected to the thousand years of peace that we've already stepped into that. We've already stepped into it. It's already begun. All right. <clears throat> there is a, um, a huge planetary excursion going on right now to suck out all the poison from the planet. And that's why you're seeing all these exposures and all these things coming out. And it's making everything look terrible and horrible and disgusting and depressing. All right. Um, I am not looking at it like that. Neither should you. All right. What this is, is it's going to pave the way for something that humans have never seen before. It's going to be the Garden of Eden again, guys. There's going to be huge changes, overhauls with the school systems, um, you know, the way we uh, make ourselves better when we're sick, you know, that stuff that we use. I don't want to say too, too much on my channel because, you know, um, maybe a lot of you uh, don't have any idea what's been going on, but, you know, some things have been taken away from us. So a lot of people's channels are being pulled down when they're discussing something that's not going along with you know, what's being told to them on the boob. You know what I'm talking about there? All right. All that stuff that you're being told on there is a lie. All right. It's, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. All right. So let's get to the reading. This is information. Like I said, for this Empress, um, it's going to be about some kind of large opportunity for you. And it's all connected to your cycle. So um, everything within your cycle, which is devised by partly by spirit and partly by mankind, who's behind the scenes, like I just said, making all these changes for us, for humanity. Okay. Um, this again, the cycle is just a, a whole slew of awesomeness coming to you. It's all about your betterment. It's all positive. There's nothing negative in there. So you guys start looking for all these things. All right. But I have to tell you, if you're a person who is negative for whatever reason, maybe you grew up and your family was negative, your mother, your father, people around you put you down, people you know, had thought processes like, oh, this sucks and this always happens and black clouds follow me and nothing ever goes right. That kind of thought process 
gets you more of that thought process. I'm just letting you know. If you if you think like that, um, don't even bother looking for anything to come from your cycle. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being very honest with you, okay? Um, we'll talk more about that at the end of the read. All right, here I'm seeing somebody's having this... Um, Somebody was having a tower moment, okay? Maybe you're at the tail end of it. Maybe you're still a little, you have one foot still in here. You're still doing a little bit of suffering due to this commitment that you had, all right? And I'm talking to a masculine right now, all right? Um, it looks like you're moving away from whatever this commitment was that was causing you to feel entrapped um, or maybe just, you know, very, very um, upset and just depressed and just sucking your, your soul from your body, whatever this was. Okay. Um, you're using your intuition more. You're, you're realizing that you, you can just walk away from these things that aren't serving you. It's that easy guys. Um, don't use family as an excuse. Well, they're my family. I can't do that. If somebody you're not, you were put here to be happy. God, God gave us a garden of Eden so we could live our lives and learn and teach and become the best we could be um, and feel ecstatically happy about this life that he blew into us, okay? So um, if you're suffering, you know, you're not really living, all right? You don't have to suffer. You can make a complete turnaround. So here, I'm picking up on this king here, this masculine, who is manifesting all kinds of things in his life. You are like this super manifester, all right? Something that you've wanted, you're manifesting, all right? And it's actually more than one thing. You, you're manifesting all these things over here. Um, that is awesome. You're, you're just, you're killing it here. All right, and then I'm seeing also over here, this page of wands in the corner, um, there's something that you want from this person. This is a younger masculine, very intelligent. Uh, there's something you want from this person. I don't know uh, quite what it is. Let's move further. Okay, so here I'm seeing, uh, this is some kind of, um, job situation, uh, where a decision is being made. Okay. I'm seeing this emperor over here who is a boss figure and there's something burdening this boss figure. Okay. You may be the boss figure watching this reading right now. I'm not sure, but I am seeing a decision that is, uh, you're making. All right. Actually, you're a really good boss you want your people to have more money. You're thinking that what they're getting, they're worth so much more. They're hardworking people. You have a big heart. And you know that the way times are right now, these people deserve more. Your people, your employees, okay? So you're making some kind of decision right now. You're mulling things over. You're thinking things over. So there might be some of you out there who possibly are getting this raise or this bump up at work. <clears throat> All right. I don't know who this is, but somebody has been putting up with some really, you know, bad behaviors. Um, just this, sneaky, trying to get away with stuff. Um, someone in your life is making you feel left out in the cold, okay? Making you feel that you need to rest, take time away from this person, and you need healing from this person. That's how bad things have been, all right? I'm seeing some kind of movement here. Um, let's go further and see if there's more information on this. Yeah, so you're you're spending a lot of time by yourself. You're spending a lot of time. You're hermiting up. Um, 
I am seeing, and by the way, I'm talking to a feminine right now. You are a, you know, this doesn't have to be a feminine. This can be a masculine as well, but you're an empath, okay? Um, I'm thinking a feminine because over here, and this doesn't have to be, it could be any old way, but there is this masculine over here. Um, and this, all this happiness um, and this wish fulfillment coming to fruition and celebration is in the middle of the two of you. So I feel like the two of you are either being drawn together or you've already, you're already together. This is what's coming for the two of you as a couple. Okay. Um, things are going to work out really, really well for you. You have this ace of wands. This is, um, you know, this, this, hand coming out of the sky coming out of the clouds nothingness um and this is a um flourishing wand so you know this relationship is just going to continue to get better and better for you so congrats on that whoever the two of you are that's really sweet and let's go further all right, so stay strong because this is still about the two of you. All right, I'm seeing that you are soulmates. Not only are you soulmates, but I'm seeing children in the near future for the two of you, okay? The Queen of Swords is not ready yet um, so much, uh, but she will be, all right? This queen will be ready in time. Right now, she just wants to... Um, get all her ducks in a row and, you know, give it some more time there. But I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing a lot of happiness um, in the picture here. Um, new starts. Sorry if I just stuck my hand in there. Um, there was something there I had to get rid of. Okay. Here I'm seeing some kind of juggling. Um, this king of swords is juggling. It, it, you're juggling your finances, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're in this job where you're feeling like it's a dead end. There's nothing here for you. You can't get ahead. You're thinking about leaving this job. And if you still, you know, want, if you want to leave and you're looking for other income, you know, may I suggest you do it in threes. Okay, guys, anytime you need to a job or you're looking for other work, um, do it in threes. Line up your interviews in threes. Go to all three. If you're not happy with what you get, line up three more. Keep doing that and you will find the perfect situation, just exactly what you want, okay? It may take a little time, but you will get there. I'm seeing this new start, this new beginning for this king who wants to end this position, okay? Um, there's been a, a meeting or two or something at your job and you didn't like what you heard, okay? It just rubbed you the wrong way. Um, I, I guess it was like a sob story or something, you know, um, what you heard from this meeting is you're not going to be able to get ahead here at this position, this job. Okay. Um, let's go further. All right. This is for somebody. Um, this might be quite a few of you actually. All right. Feeling stuck, feeling unmotivated, like, you know, you're just trapped in the same old, same old every day. All right. You're starting to realize what this is going to take for you to move into new waters and step out of the matrix. What is the matrix? You ask the matrix was de devised by, uh, certain, uh, elements I'll say that, you know, wanted to take advantage and live off of your, your back. Okay. And my back and did all kinds of nefarious things and, you know, lied about it and said, you know, that they were using things for certain things and those certain things were going certainly in their pockets, okay? So now um, you're realizing what's going on, not just with that, but other personal things in your life, things that aren't serving you, some negativity, you're starting to distance yourself. You want to be free of this. You're ready. Okay, you guys are ready for this. You're ready to step out 
and you know do your own thing do what do you do what makes you happy you no longer have to follow what other people do you never you, you no longer have to go along with you know the sheep you know that are following that are doing what they're being told from the boob okay think about how many things you've learned from that okay one of the things you've learned how to do from that uh that you would have never learned how to do without that I'm talking about the boob is division think about it right if they didn't show you those stories and images over and over and over again you wouldn't be thinking about that you wouldn't be thinking about it at all and that's what that does okay all right so I'm seeing you moving into new waters I'm seeing you feeling free all right and then bam all this stuff starts to happen for you because you've on uh, you've stepped out of the matrix and you've unblocked your god-given flow all right god gave you so many powers okay and he made you in his image so you have a lot of powers that god has that you don't know you have such as you know unbelievable senses um we're all clairvoyant we just haven't you know we've been we've been suppressed with all these powers let me just say that okay um these elements didn't want us to know how powerful we are and who we really are okay but i'm seeing you breaking out busting out feeling this freedom moving into new waters and going to your own drum okay i invite you all to be weird like me all right my family is thinks i'm an alien okay they never heard of the stuff i do the stuff i do i don't follow what other people do you know ever since i was young i was uh, you know taking natural medications um eating organic food going to these um you know uh uh musical bowl events and i just did this gong bath that was freaking awesome i do everything and anything i get massages um i just do what i want to do for me that nurtures me that makes me feel cherished and loved by me and does that sound crazy that's what you all should be doing all right because no one else is going to do that no one else i mean possibly you know, down the road, you might meet somebody special that might, all right, but no one's going to do it like you can, because no one really knows what makes you happy and what makes you tick like you do, all right? And when you're confident in yourself and you love yourself, it, you know, I love being alone. I don't feel lonely. I don't get upset and I don't, you know, dwell on, oh, I wish I had somebody. I'm perfectly content to be with myself i'm comfortable in my own skin and you know i'm not saying you have to be like me i'm just using you know drawing on examples guys okay this is what i see for a lot of you i see you busting out of the matrix and doing you and being happy i'm seeing all kinds of things your flow is going to be able to begin for you i'm seeing this ten of pentacles with the six of pentacles this is amazing guys this is you know uh this is abundance here okay this is the six of pentacles this is you know money coming in maybe several income streams this is the ten of pentacles okay this could be like like uh just a whirlwind of money coming in from a different source. Um, this is manifestation and happiness. This is joy and happiness, celebration in this card. And this card says that you've arrived. All right. You're happy. You're joyous. You're totally content because you have everything you could want in your lifetime. Now you've covered all the basis and then some. All right, guys. So this is what I see coming to fruition for you. This is possible for everyone. All right. You just got to hop out of the matrix now. It's time. All right. Turn that thing off. Don't listen to it anymore. You know, think peace. Think peace and quiet. Go into nature. Go, go camping. Go in the woods. You know, um, do things like that. You'll feel a whole lot better. All right, guys. And here I'm seeing, again, I'm seeing this mental clarity coming in for you quickly um, with all this happiness in the center. All right. I am seeing some loneliness over here. 
um, with this Knight of Wands, but I'm also seeing all this change coming in for you. All right, you just you are creative. The Knight of Wands is creative. Here you have this creative wand in your hand. Wands are creative. Okay, and think about it. We're creators. All right, this is how God made us to be. Um, and so I am seeing you able now to create your life as you want it, just like a painting. Um, you know, do whatever you want. Think outside the box. Don't follow. All right, guys, that is the reading. Oh, I did want to talk to you a little bit. Um, I think I kind of, I think I kind of said it already in the reading. Okay. Um, you need to change your mindset if you're finding that you know, you're, you're, you have a string, a long string of negativity, one thing after another. Okay. Um, some things happen that are, are beyond your control, but for the most part, guys, you know, once you can get yourself into this, uh, mindset where you are feeling grateful, you can't, you can't feel negative and grateful in the same space. You just can't. Um, so in the morning and in the evening, keep reminding yourself what you're grateful for. I promise you, if you do that for a month straight, every single day, you're going to get giddy that you have food in your refrigerator. You're going to start appreciating these little things and really starting to feel grateful for these very small things. And when you can get to that point, you, you're the rest is just, it, your life will be amazing. Okay. It's going to turn around. It all has to do with your vibrational status. When you're thinking negative thoughts, you're vibrating down here. This is where the universe is going to meet you with the universal vibration down here. And as I tell you guys, there's nothing down here, okay? But negativity, all right? Your thoughts and feelings create your future. So if you have a negative thought, guess what? You know, usually... A few minutes later, you're going to have another negative thought. It's kind of like when you're driving in traffic and someone cuts you off and you're late and the light turns red. Okay. You didn't get through the light because somebody cut you off. Now you're pissed off, right? Now you're in a bad mood. Now you're going to notice that there's going to be all kinds of things thrown in front of you to keep you from getting to your destination. You're going to hit every red light. Everything that can get in your way will get in your way. Have you ever noticed that? That's because once you start getting into this negative uh, frame of mind and you're having negative thoughts, it you know the universe is meeting your vibration, which is going to be low in that moment, and you're going to have more negative thoughts, okay? If you can snap yourself out of it and laugh it off or whatever and, you know, change your vibration, you know, you can usually, um, you know, change that. So it's all the way you're thinking, guys. And that is the read. I hope I was helpful and I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday.